Hi guys, how's it going? Lively Skeleton here. I decided to film a Princess Serenity makeup tutorial. I recently cosplayed as her at Uchakuthon for 2019 in Montreal. And unfortunately my camera is gone. It's with my boyfriend and he's currently not able to come see me because of the whole virus going on. Hope you all are safe and healthy. So right now I am filming on my phone and I managed to get a little tripod. So right now I just put on some primer. It's color correcting primer because as you can see, uh, I've got a lot of acne, but we deal with it. Next, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I recently bought it and I have to say it's really good. So I'm just going to apply that to my lids. So I hope you like my new setup. I just moved into my room finally, but I didn't get to update. This is my little wall back here. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of backwards, but I have lots of autographs from when I went to Comic-Con, Utakuthan, Fan Expo in Toronto. I got my little Sailor Moon autographs in there, and I got others. Let me know if you'd like to see more of my autographs. I was planning on filming a video with that as well. Okay. So I'm going to start with my BB cream, which is the All Calm, All Calm Clinical Redness Corrector and it has SPF in it. I put this on over because I have acne prone skin. So I put this first and then I put my e.l.f. foundation on top. I don't like wearing foundation anymore except for like special events. So for this I'm just using my hands. I find it's easier that way. Applying a little bit down my neck as well. Usually I would go in with a color corrector before I do this, but I decided that this was more than enough. It's a green color corrector. So I'm hoping that my little spots won't show as much since I'll be using concealer on top of that, plus the foundation. I'm going to cover my brows with it too because I'm going to be using a brow mascara to make my hair appear blondish. Next I'm going in with a just a little bit of the L foundation. I don't like to use a lot. This was the palest shade I can find in my area at the time. No, sorry if it's dirty. I just take a little amount like this. I just take little amounts and then build up as I go.
making sure to drag it down my neck as well. This is not the most conventional blending, but I prefer to use my hands when it comes to this. So now I'm going to go in with a bit of concealer. Just adding some concealer here. I'm trying to cover up as much of my acne as possible. Typically, I don't wear foundation or concealer really. I just use eye cream and some moisturizer with some SPF. Sometimes I'll use concealer if I'm going out. And lately, what I've been doing is taking my eyelash curler, heating it up with a hairdryer, and just curling it. And then I put castor oil during the day just a little bit because I found out I'm allergic to eyelash extensions and mascara. And I find a lot of the mascaras that I've been using have gotten a weird result. I have the hypoallergenic one, but I find it's clumpy and weird and it separates in a weird way, so I don't really wear mascara anymore. I just tint my eyebrows and eyelashes now, and I just use the um, heated curler method. I started going foundation free a year ago. Now I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer, it's from Makeup Forever, and it's not quite the shade for under my eyes, but I, I would like to use it to highlight other parts. Just going to put it on the edge of my nose here, it's a bit too much, but it should be okay. Just going to blend it with my finger. Also going to add a little bit to the eyebrows. I want to add some to this part. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. I got this, uh, what's it called now, CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define, and it's in the shade, it should say blonde, golden blonde. So I found this was closest to Sailor Moon. I'm just going to go in and basically just put on as much as I can. What I do is I take the tip and I put a little bit more so that it tries to cover every hair of the eyebrow. I found this technique on a video that I seen on YouTube. I'll link it down below. I just don't remember the username, but I thought it was really brilliant and I didn't know brown mascara existed. So this is a, a good way to cover your eyebrows and make them look similar to the character you're cosplaying as. So I already see that it's turning blonder.
I don't have a lot of hair at the end here so I had to kind of draw more brow at the end make kind of an unnatural brow shape as you can see it looks already more blondish than the other side so now I'm just going to repeat the same step on the other eyebrow But the next thing I'm going to do is eyeshadow. So for Sailor Moon, for Princess Serenity, I wanted to do a more simple eyeshadow look, but with a kind of a anime cat eye, with black eyeliner, if that makes any sense. I'm also going to add some sparkle. A lot of the eyeshadows I have already have uh, sparkles inside. I don't know if you can see it here. And this is the Ipsy and NYX eyeshadow palette that I got when I was a member of Ipsy. So now I'm going to go in with this color right here as my base. Now I'm going to go in the crease with this brown color right here. And make sure not to add too much so I kind of blot off the excess. Now I'm just going to go into the crease. And I try to make a V shape on the edge like, th like so. This. You can already see there's a bit of a shadow. I think the most difficult thing for me to do for this look is the contacts because I normally wear glasses and the brows. It's so it, uh, that's what takes me the longest. So you can see there is already a shadow on the side as well. Trying to blend in as much as possible. Alright, so now I think I'm going to go in with the eyeliner. So this one is CoverGirl Get In Line Active. This is the black liquid eyeliner. I also skipped this part when I said the hardest thing to do for this makeup tutorial. Not only is it the contacts and the brows, but it's also this. You can never really get two of the same, so I'm gonna try my best.
See, I already messed up some part there. So we're just going to leave it, let it dry, and continue doing the other side. I'm just going to fix this little part here. It's kind of hard to do this because I already previously curled my lashes before. So for this look, it'll be easier if your lashes aren't curled. Don't be like me. There we go. This side's already coming out better than the other side. going to be applying some blush. This is a CoverGirl blush. I don't know what shade it is and it's I've had it for quite some time. Probably get rid of it. Instead of blush, sometimes what I use is lipstick. Sometimes I'll use this lipstick right here. It's the Maybelline 40 14 hour lipstick. I don't know how to read numbers. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. And what I like to do is smile. I'm just going to apply it this way. a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with some highlighting here. I think for today I'm going to use the middle. So I've already put lighter concealer but now I want to apply more so there's more shimmer. I'm also going to apply some on my lid here for more sparkle. So I'm going to try my nose here. Also going to apply some to highlight my brow bone. I'm left handed so this is awkward. Going to apply more on the Cupid's bow. And also my cheekbones. I'm going to add a little bit to the center of my lid. Now to the other side. I'm going to take the clean side and try to blend it as much as possible. There we go. For this as well, I'm just going to add a little bit of this shimmery color. I'm going to add a little bit on my eyes, just a little bit, because this happened... Bleh. This eyeshadow is very pigmented, so I just want to add a tiny bit. Same thing for the other side. Try to blend it out. I think I might also add the same color to my cheekbones, just a tiny bit. The more shimmer the better for this look. Oop. See there, I added a bit too much. I'm going to try to blend it with my fingers. Okay, so I think it's time for mascara.
can add false eyelashes if you want. This is the current mascara that I do use occasionally, the Great Lash by Maybelline. It's hypoallergenic. Then I'm going to apply the Maybelline 14 Hour Lipstick. I find this is a really cute color for Princess Wendy. I, can, I also tend to use this as a blush. I just like smelling it too because it smells like candy. It's really awesome. Alright, so that is the finished look. Now I'm just going to go put the wig on and show you the final result. So here I am just as Princess Serenity. This has got to be my favorite cosplay ever. So as you can see, this is the finished look. Wig, I even have a crown. Really, really love this dress. I had it custom made by this lovely lady and I will link her shop down below. Yeah, so I'm super excited about this tutorial. Sailor Moon is one of my favorite animes ever. As you can see, I have like autographs and stuff and I have like so much Sailor Moon stuff. Really, really excited. So I'm just gonna show off a little bit more. I feel super cute and super kawaii and super pretty in this cosplay. The buns are really crazy and big. But I love it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.